Praise Yahweh, giving all the honor, glory, and praise to my Father in heaven, Yahweh. Thanking him for his precious son, Yeshua the Messiah. Giving honor to all the men of Yahweh that labor among us, the fivefold ministry, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Giving honor um, to the saints of Yahweh. Giving honor to uh, anyone that may be listening in to our testimonies. Um, I want to thank and praise Yahweh. I came in this way in 1998. And when I... Uh, came in this way on my first uh, night of visiting the church. Um, I heard things that I had never heard before, with the main thing being, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands. And now, um, I had heard that teaching before, but the person that I heard it through was not a righteous person because he himself was in adultery. And so um, it was just something about his lifestyle that caused me to fight against those words. And, um, and I was just so rowdy and rebellious. And I told him I paid a cost to be a boss, to be the boss. I would never uh, submit to a man because he's not my dad. And uh, but when I came to the infallible true church of Yeshua, the Messiah, I realized how ridiculous and foolish my speech had been because the first day that I was there and um, well, the first night rather, and I heard those words, my heart was pricked beyond measure to the point where um, I got baptized that same night because I knew that I had to make a change. And um, I would like to thank Yahweh for those who started this race before me, who was willing to shine a light bright enough so that I could see. Um, there were saints working um, at my job. And uh, every time I saw them, I knew it was something different about them. Uh, they were not like us that were in the world believing and professing that we knew God, but our deeds did not match up with what the, what our mouths were saying. And lo and behold, one day, um, uh, one of the ministers, uh, one of the bishops at the church uh, heard me speaking about how much I love the Lord and um, no matter what you do, uh, the Lord is going to always be there. He's going to always uh, come and rescue you and pull you back in. And this particular day, I happened to look uh, down there towards Apostle Harvey Washington's way, and he had a bunch of wrinkles on his face. And, uh, and I asked him, I said, Harvey, what's wrong? You don't agree with me? And he said, well, no. Uh, he said, it sounds like Bible, but it's not. And so uh, that same day, he rolled his chair over to my cubicle, and he showed me Acts 2.38, Acts 2.36 and 38. And um, he showed me that I wasn't saved like I thought, and that I did not even have the, the first step of being saved. And when he showed me in the scriptures that I was not saved, it brought tears to my to my eyes. And I also uh, noticed other saints uh, at the job, like Mother Brenda. Um, and I would just watch her. When I seen her walk, I would just watch her until she was out of my eyesight because I saw something so holy, which at the time I didn't know it was holiness. I just said nice. Uh, but I saw something so holy and so pure about her. And you could just tell that she was separated from the world. And I saw a peace and a calm about her. And I knew that I didn't have that in my life. But uh, thank Yahweh that um, Apostle Washington kept inviting me to church. And so on that faithful day, I did go out. And on that day, like I said, I was baptized the same day. And my life changed from that point on. Uh, before um, I came to the church, my husband and I 
uh, we could not get along. And when I look back on those times, it was more so me and me not being able to close my, my mouth and constantly nagging him and constantly picking fights and wanting to argue with him. And uh, truly, it is right that the wife is a continuous drip or can be until she's taught the right way. But um, I would nag him, get on his nerves, uh, never satisfied, just so unthankful and so unappreciative uh, with the life that I did have. But uh, I came on to the church and I began to hearken to the words of uh, Yahweh in the name of Yeshua Messiah. I began to look at uh, the examples around me, uh, Mother Karen, Mother Anderson, and Mother Brenda. Uh, I just began to look at those examples and seeing these holy women walk upright and seeing how they reverence their husbands, which we call our lords, uh, just like Sarah did. And uh, once I was able to actually see not only the word, the word is the main thing, but I thank Yahweh that I was actually able to see the living epistles uh, that the scriptures speak about how we become living epistles when we walk up and be that true example. And I remember uh, Mother Anderson uh, will, and her uh, Lord Evangelist Anderson would take me and my husband and uh, take us in, bring us to their home. Uh, we would spend, spend the night, uh, them talking to us and showing us what to do as husband and wife. Uh, Mother Brenda and her husband, Apostle Diaz, would take us in as well, spend time with us, uh, laboring among us, uh, teaching us that true love for one another. And um, prior to church, uh, as I said, I would always nag my husband to the point where uh, it tore our marriage up. He didn't even want to be around me. Uh, we could be driving in a car and something would happen that didn't suit me. And um, I would start nagging him to the point he didn't care how far he was away from home. 10 miles, 15 miles, 20 miles, he would get out the car, out of the car and begin to walk home. And then I would come to my senses because I did have uh, some care for him and begging him to get back in the car, but he wouldn't. And uh, and we lived that uh, that way until uh, Yahweh decided to bless me and to bring me to his holy house. And once I came to the truth, uh, I began to work on myself and stop looking at uh, what my husband needed to do to the point where he saw a tremendous change in me. And so he came out uh, to hear the word for himself. Uh, it took him two times to come out, and on that second time, his heart was pricked uh, because I'm um, just speaking with him. And I know he he wanted to see what in the world changed me. <laughs> what in the world changed me from the way uh, that I was? It, it was a great, great miracle because I was only doing what I saw growing up. To be honest, I was only doing what I saw growing up. And so he wanted to see what this great change in, um, was in me. And so he came out, he heard the word from for himself, and um, he got baptized in the name of Yeshua Messiah. And uh, we've been running on every since. But what we found in the house of Yahweh, um, and, and when our bishops preach, um, they always show us ourselves. They never give us a word to cause us to look at anyone else. And it's definitely true that the word of Yahweh is like a mirror. Uh, when you look, when you look off into the word, uh, word of Yahweh, is it always show you yourself. It doesn't show you anyone else. It shows each individual what they need to work on to be better and to be saved. And I thank Yahweh for that. And so um, I began to work on myself and what I needed to do. 
and my husband began to work on himself and what he needed to do, and it made our marriage whole. Uh, we went from being on the verge of divorce uh, to being able to love one another, and it even has gotten to the point where I was able to say that he's my best friend. And um, and I thank Yahweh so much for that. If before coming to the church, we lived a separate life uh, for a whole year. Um, I did not sleep with my husband. And um, we were basically really just roommates at that point, um, just waiting for the opportunity to come along for us to separate. But praises be to Almighty Yahweh that he um, saved our marriage. He saved our marriage. And I can truly say that we are one. Uh, we love spending time together. Uh, we always go on dates together. And uh, we can just sit up and talk about the goodness of Yahweh. And it was a time when we did not have two words for one another. Uh, if it wasn't nothing dealing with the kid, we were living in the same house, mind you. But if it wasn't anything dealing with the children or ever, you know, day to day stuff, uh, what you want to eat or something like that. We had no, really no conversation uh, for each other. We lived a miserable, horrible life. And I know what Yahweh has done for me. And uh, he saved my marriage. And through that, we were able to raise our kids up in the Lord and train them in the way that they should go since they were five years old. And uh, we we would have been able to grow in this way. And I'm so thankful and glad about it. Both of our sons are still serving Yahweh till this day. Do we have our struggles? Do we uh, have trials and tribulations come our way? Of course we do. But uh, through being taught and being able to go to the house of judgment, we're able to learn of Yahweh's ways and how to overcome all trials and tribulations in the name of Yeshua Messiah. And that is how we're able to press on. And that's how we're able to be fully persuaded in this way. We're not doubting about this way. We're not, uh, nothing that's going on in this world at this present hour is causing us to doubt about this way because when all else fails, we can look at our lives and see the presence of Yeshua Messiah in it. And that's how we know that our Yahweh, that our God Yahweh is real. And um, with that being said, I want to thank Yahweh uh, for all things. I want to thank him uh, for uh, allowing me and my husband to become one. I want to thank him for the peace that we have in our home. Um, I want to thank Yahweh for um, both of my sons still pressing on serving Yahweh. I want to thank him for blessing us with a beautiful daughter-in-law and a, a beautiful grandchild. None of this would have been possible if Yahweh uh, was not in our lives. And I will never, ever stop giving him all the praises and glory for what he has done in our life. I don't boast in myself. I boast in the power and might of Yahweh, who is God Almighty, in the name of his precious son, Yeshua the Messiah, who is able to render miracles, who is able to change lives if we allow him. But first, we have to hear an apostle. Uh, and I want to thank Yahweh for the apostles and all of our bishops, Apostle Washington, Apostle Hurley. And I want to thank Yahweh for Prophet Standiford because the this is the foundation of the church. And I'm so glad to be standing on a sure foundation in these last and evil days. And may Yahweh bless each and every every ear that may hear these testimonies because we stand before you and lie not. Yahweh is real and he's able to change our lives and your life too. May Yahweh bless you. Peace be.